guys. Wow, I look like a grandma right now. It was cold, so I wore this. Sorry. I just got distracted, but this is so cute. By myself, yeah, still ain't in my zone. So need to smoke another just to let go of my phone. So today is the day four back with my family. It's a Sunday. Um, but I just did want to vlog like a crazy story. So not a crazy story, but I had a crazy dream. Okay, it wasn't that crazy. I'm just being dramatic. But I definitely do 100% agree that um, how you feel really affects like what kind of dreams you have. I feel like dreams really reveal a lot about what you're going through and like how you take on a situation that happened like previously or like whatever. But I just wanted to share because there's nothing else that I have or I can be doing right now. Yeah, so I lit a candle. I guess I was feeling a little like guilty towards my boyfriend in my dream pretty much we were together in a house and the feds were coming we had like there was like three knobs that you could press down so like the first knob was like the first booby trap the second one second booby trap third third booby trap kind of like that so like if the first one didn't work backup was the second one and so on so the first booby trap that I pulled down was um spiders so spiders like once i pull that notch down like spiders would crawl to the front door and then create this really thick and sticky spider web all throughout all the doors like front door back door and stuff like that so that the feds couldn't come in and that would like stall some time and then i get distracted a lot so like my personality is i'm the type to um, lose focus a lot i just say random shit all the time um and so apparently in my dream it's like very clear my personality is like that in my dreams too um my next door neighbor so like you could just jump balconies i don't know why i just drew my balcony with barbed wire so this is me and then the neighbor so i jumped over got carne asada fries i wanted to make a taco in my dream like this is actually like what happened in my dream and then while i was next door getting carne asada tacos um the feds like went through the spider web and um on the other side so like where you guys would be there's like another building like another apartment building and across that wall instead of the neighbors having a balcony they just had stairs that you find like in Indiana Jones, you know, like in the forest where like um, it's like human made stairs that are like, or not stairs, but human made like walkway. It's like elevated and there's like a river running across, but then it's like logs and like you have to like steady yourself while you run across. Um, that was like our backup escape. So we were like running and then pretty much we got caught. Pretty much I escaped from jail because me being I and being scrappy able to escape jail and then when i did escape i left london behind i somehow went to my friend's house in my dream and i was hiding out there and everyone was looking for me like i was on the bay area news and then i was like shit like i'm gonna die they're gonna find me i'm gonna get life for something that i don't even know what i did wrong for and then some like super famous detective that i've seen in movies like I don't even know the actor's name I'm gonna find out who this actor is maybe he'll give me more answers to my dreams I've been having weird dreams guys during quarantine I've had this morbid dream the other day like when I was in Vegas with my boyfriend that I got shot in the forehead like actually like I know that sounds really bad but that was also my dream so pretty much like somebody was stabbing me and then I asked them to just shoot me in the head because I was like annoyed, not only annoyed, but like in pain. And I felt the pain too in my sleep. And like when I got shot, like I felt blood pass through my nose filled with blood. You know, when you go underwater and then like you breathe in the water, like that's how I felt while I was sleeping, which is like really crazy if you think about it. I don't even know his name when he was in my dream. It's crazy how like your mind just like creates people like that you've seen in movies. I don't, I'm trying to figure out his name right now. I literally looked up famous movie with chubby dude. Here, like this guy, he's like pretty famous. 
John Goodman was in my dream. He was a detective and then um, he was just like hanging out at my friend's house in my dream. And then I was hiding out and then he was like looking around the house for some reason. It's not like he knew I was there, but eventually I came out and he was like, look, you need to surrender um, because you're like the most wanted right now in America. And I was just like, I don't even know what the f did, but okay. I'll only turn in myself if um, you let my boyfriend go or you let me stay in the same cell as him in prison. That was literally my, like, I'm like, how does that even work? Like in my head, I'm just like, Mary, like, what the hell are you thinking? Like, how do you, like, obviously they will choose to put you in the same cell as your boyfriend. Like they're not gonna let Landon out. I don't know. And in the dream, like I asked to be put in a five by five cell with Landon, like a jail cell. Bruh. A five by five room is the size of like a piece of paper. So clearly my my mind is just like really in my dreams, guys. Like I, I just don't make any sense. Like five by five, bitch, really? Damn. But it says you might have weird dreams if you binge watching shows the night before or it says like you have a huge spicy meal for dinner. Is this valid? And is that considered a nightmare? I just feel like there's an article that says the importance of dreams and why are they, what do they represent? Okay, this is a really long article. I'll just give you guys a one-on-one summary for dummies. Shh. Do you hear my computer? Oh my God. Dude, if you get your eyelashes done, okay, cause like I haven't been able to get my eyelashes done, but the back of my computer when it's like pushing out air it feels like the thing where like the eyelash ladies they like put on your eyes to like dry your eyelashes that's like this this is literally the exact amount of force of air it sounds like it too sorry i haven't gotten my eyebrows done in so long and um it's really sad it says right here quote it has been suggested that dreams could be crucial to your emotional and mental health and can be a means by which we solve problems, deal with emotions and thoughts. It is thought that dreams play an important role in providing us with ability, with the ability to function psychologically. Therefore, there are clearly benefits to dreaming, understanding our dreams and their meanings. And I really truly believe in that. And I love hearing about people's dreams and like what it means for them and things like that because, um, I feel like it does really explore into like your inner emotions and what you might be dealing with and like where you are mentally. The times that you really don't have control over your body is like usually when we're knocked out or like passed out, blacked out or like things like that. And I feel like the fact that our body is trying, our mind is like talking to us and like trying to explore us is like pretty crazy. And I feel like um, dreams are really important. So every single dream that I have, I used to like write it down in a diary and things like that when I was younger and cute. And I, I don't even know where that diary is sadly. And I don't even remember a lot of my dreams, but I heard it's like really good to write it down. I just wanted to share with you guys that during quarantine I've been having crazy dreams. I feel like I made the dream sound really exciting in the- It's like, oh my god, I got caught by feds. And then it totally died down to me like making two stupid suggestions like put me in jail with my boyfriend or take my boyfriend out and put me instead, but we're both guilty. I don't know. I know in a five by five room. I think like a five by five is like this size, literally. So Right now I have like little samples of my sister's earrings. Um, she does have a line and it is called No, no. I look really weird saying it, but no jewelry. It's I'm gonna put the link right here. Um, this is one of them. I was actually gonna wear it for this video, but decided not to. This is so like cute. It's so chunky. And I love it. And then this one is another one that she has. Um, it's like little teardrops. I think it's like the cutest. Um, you guys should check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.